Hey everybody, this is Bug Out Junkie on another Bug Out Junkie commentary. I'm at an undisclosed place in Oklahoma. I'm actually at my daughter's house. Um, I had a three-day trip tracking down the preps that were stolen from one of my MAG members. Uh, I am the psychology and the legality wisdom and I bring prepping knowledge to our mag that's what I do I'm a great tracker I've always been a very good tracker even before the age of the internet uh, this mag member took it upon themselves to go to a cache that we all had stored and see what we've, we've done is you know we all put in together and we have these caches throughout uh, the states uh, in our home states and uh, close areas to, to all the MAG members um, this group's been together for a while uh, the individual that that stole the the mag, I mean the mag's uh, supplies uh, in that state of Arkansas was relatively new, about a year in, somewhere in there. Uh, we vetted this individual, we interviewed this individual, I mean criteria was there, met standards, everything was uh, set and good. Not sure what type of mind uh, breakage this individual went through uh, and, and come to the conclusion to steal those uh, preps uh, but they took quite a bit of preps and so what I had to do as the legality part of the mag only because of my my education and my experience with the legal system uh, and I got quite a bit on both sides believe that uh, I went and I filed the charges. Subsequently, through some investigating and everything, see, I had filed charges in Oklahoma. Well, actually, it starts with a complaint. Uh, so I had to file the complaint in the civil suit in Oklahoma, and the individual, um, I found out through investigations of my own and tracking of my own that uh, they skedaddled to Oklahoma. Well, isn't that a cool winky dink? The boy decided to run with everything and go to Oklahoma. Well, I'm getting to know Oklahoma pretty good. It's a fairly small state relative to Texas, and I know Texas well, like the back of my hand, the back roads, I mean everything, and I'm learning Oklahoma and Arkansas, for that matter, very well. As a matter of fact, or get off on a little sidekick here, uh, on my way on tracking this individual, I lost all service on my cell phone. The only thing I could do was make uh, 911 calls. So, because I had an Atlas in my truck, Jolene, I love Jolene, she is top of the line for 2001. But anyway, uh, I used my atlas and my atlas uh, helped me quite a bit you know I was glad that I learned how to read a map when I was a kid I was the navigator when I was a kid uh, my parents moved around quite a bit and you know I got to read the maps um, it helped me quite a lot so get you some maps and keep them in your car an atlas Preferably, you can put them up underneath the seat. You don't have to worry about that. Underneath your seat is a great place to store stuff. But anyhow, so I was like, "Gosh, now I got to find this, you know, this dude." And uh, I was already told not to confront. And I mean, I've learned that lesson. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm. Right now, we have a rule of law in this country, and I've used it. To the best of my ability um, anyhow I said a little prayer and I was like Lord please help me you know please help me you know I, I'm doing what's right I ain't going sideways with him I'm not going sideways because 
we all have skills and those skills if you know a confrontation was to occur uh, someone would get hurt unnecessarily because at the end of the day I'm still eating right now but those preps were for what's coming and same with my mag members those preps were for what's coming and in the event that we have to bug out we have places that we can go and meet up at those in those areas or places that we can go and leave notes and, and communications with to where we're at and where the, you know the mag's gonna eventually meet up at and, and become one solid group at that point instead of little factions that are broken off in little areas but uh said my prayer stopped and got me some coffee smoked a cigar smoked a bowl and I went to that little old town that I kept on seeing pop up on uh, sites on social media because see even though some people think that they're so fucking smart they're not they leave a social media trail and with the right insight you can put all the pieces together and so this individual's constantly, you know, posted on these social medias that I guess I really don't know what was going through their stupid ass mind, but uh, I found the town. I stopped. I gave the lady a line because this town's small, only 500 people, see? And uh, gave the lady a line and she told me exactly what I needed to do. I went around the next side of the block and pulled right up at the piece of shit's uh, front door and waved at him. Uh, and there was just a, he was just a waving right on back, just as happy-go-lucky as you please. And then when he realized who he was waving at, Every emotion out of his face left except for that of, oh, shit. So we know where he lives. Did not get the preps back. Had to file a suit. He's going to get served. And uh, that's all we can do because the preps are gone. We may not even be able to ever collect uh, a monetary value on those preps uh, but there's a paper trail started now in a world without rule of law that would have been the last place he sat down and he would not have gotten up but there is laws that have to be followed on these kind of things and it just it is what it is and you know I look at it like this um, you live and you learn and uh, just be careful of who you trust no matter what the vetting process is there's always going to be some sign there but we just we just didn't pick up on it you know uh we were all happy with this individual we just we did not pick up on it but anyway people this is a bug out junkie on another bug out junkie adventure so Anyhow, what's done is done, and, um, damn play. Smoking cigars and drinking coffee, because ain't no fool gonna stop my roll. This is Bug Out Junkie on another Bug Out Junkie adventure commentary, baby. Ciao.